I think it starts going. All right, so we're like on. We are live. We are live. We're live. We are live. Live. See, we're live, and I have nothing to talk about. On it. That's always the way it works. Though. Like you just shoot, and then hopefully little parts of this can be edited in, right? Hopefully. Oh, like, did you watch the uh, Bob Saget roast the other day? No. <laughs> that went nowhere. <laughs> I was going to try. I, <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, what do we work with there? Yeah. Anyways, this is my first video uh, blog, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because of Thomas Klein here, inspired me with his video blogs, so I brought him along for moral support and for help. Tommy has really high blood pressure. He Off just the found charts. Out. Off the charts. 23 years old. 23. And your blood pressure is? 180 over 90. Wow. So. That's, that's, can't you just say my blood pressure is 2? Well, then you'd be on the other, you'd be on the other spectrum. Well, oh. you'd be dead. But 180 divided by 9, I mean, that's 2, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. So you could be like, mine's 2. Right. You could say that. What happened today? What happened today? Let me get out my... Uh, Your planner. My planner. Good. Purdue University. Good. 0809 planner. I like that you elected for the larger version. I did, because I... I mean, let's, let's be honest. Wow. I'm... <laughs> Look at my weeks. I'm impressed by that. See? Uh, I can't know which way to go. <laughs> I'm impressed by that. Look at this day. Or this day. Everything. Wednesday. Everything. That was a big day in my life. Full up. I'm going to full up. The next week. Burrakasha. You can't fit that in the mini one. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of crap, actually. You like these what about these? these <laughs> you could drums. not fit that in. A you can't one. fit that. If you're bored in class, you need the bigger one <laughs> just for those drawings right there. That's that's what I did. We're uh, in class today, and we had this assignment, and we broke up into groups, and every group had a spot. Like we had, we were assigned a certain place. We had Sydney, Australia. Other people had like uh, your living room, and then some people had like the Purdue Bell Tower. I mean, they were all just different types of places. Right. And what we did was we gave very like vague clues to what our places were and then the other groups had to guess what our places were by asking us questions and we had to vaguely reply it was all about communication mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I you know I tell them my the thing that I tell the rest of the groups is we have a lot of beaches because Sydney Australia has 70 beaches I found out today I did not know that I didn't either but that's a lot and so it was, so I, I gave them that, and they were going around, they were saying, now, is it in the U.S.? I said, no. They said, what continent it is? Is it in? I said, well, it's to the east. It's an eastern continent. Mm -hmm. That's pretty vague. And she, there's this girl, right? And she's made some bad comments before. Bad, so she, like, like, like ditzy. Like oh. ditzy. And, and this is what she asked me. She looks me straight in the eyes, and she goes, is it east of the equator? No. No, she didn't. East no. of the equator. <laughs> and I go, hmm. No. No, it's not. <laughs> we should get some ice cream. I've been craving ice cream all night. Okay. You can't have ice cream. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. It has sugar in it, and that's not sodium. But that's, doesn't that hurt your... You can eat all the ice cream in the world you want. Then I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Like that's I, gotta I be bad I, for I your heart. Know. That's gotta be bad for your heart, though. No, no caffeine, no alcohol, no. Sodium. It has caffeine in it. What? <laughs> I don't know. What it has. It's just a lot of sugar and cream, milk and butter, and love. And love. That's the main ingredient. Lots of love. Curtis Kester. Let's talk about Curtis Kester. That's a good idea. Curtis Kester. Who's asleep in the other room. <laughs> He's right there. And he doesn't know that we're doing this right now. This one's for you, baby. <laughs> um, 
how do you even start describing Curtis Kester? Well, do you want to start with um, do you want to start with the leg hair underwear? Is yes, that, a good place to start? that is a perfect place to start. So Curtis decided he, he was watching the Olympics and you saw Michael Phelps like everyone else. American hero. Yes. yes. American hero. And what does the American hero do to his legs? Shaves them. He shaves his legs. So Curtis thought, I want to shave my legs. Mm -hmm. And he's told me that he's had this dream for a while, to shave his legs. And uh, It's what every man dreams of. I don't care who you are. <laughs> if you're a male, you have thought about shaving your legs before. Yeah. I have. I, I've considered it. I've never, I've never gone through with it. Though. Oh no, I've had like the razor like here and been like, "This is a bad idea," and then stopped. Mm -hmm. Curtis um, shaved his legs, and he said the best part about shaving his legs, and all you girls out there will know this, is that night when you get in your sheets, like when you get in bed, he said his his legs grazing along his sheets, being bare, just feels amazing. Like mm -hmm. it, it's like the best feeling in the world. Um, so anyways, uh, Curtis shaves his legs, but he doesn't shave them all the way up. Right. Mm -hmm. He cuts off, like... Kind of like how, I guess, you know, hosiery. Hosiery doesn't go all the way up. Yeah, no. It kind of ends in the same... It would be the same the line, same probably. Line. I mean, it's like the middle upper thigh is where it cuts off. And so, <clears throat> he doesn't have any back hair or belly hair, and so... If he's butt naked. <laughs> and I be, can testify to this. It would just be like... He's just wearing <laughs> hair as underwear. It just looks like he has some boxers made of hair. Right. That's Curtis Kester. That's, we love you, Kester. We're not making fun of you, bro. We love you. Nothing. Love that. And in honor of Kurt, I'm going to say... What does he always say? That's America. I need to shave. Yeah. Mm. Ice cream time. When you first get a new pint, you gotta snip it. Why? Like wine. Like a wine. <laughs> like a fine wine. Okay, I got the Ben and that Jerry's is good. Chubby Hubby. I have half baked. Ben and Jerry's. Mmm. If you had to make a flavor of ice cream for Ben and Jerry's, what would you call it and what would be the ingredients? That's a really good question. I love strawberry. I love strawberry. So, I'd probably call it like strawberry fields forever. <laughs> And it would have, like, Mrs. Fields cookies in um, strawberry ice cream. That's a really good yeah. answer. Strawberry Fields probably wouldn't taste very good. Whatever. Mrs. Fields cookies and strawberries? And when you're, and you're a chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> Sixteen of these... Make up one gallon of milk. Oh no! It's all over. <laughs> That's ruined. Shirt's ruined. That's it. Throw in the towel. He's done. I'm done. I knew Ryan when he was sixteen. Crazy guy. He had that Thunderbird. Oh, yeah. He got that Thunderbird, man. He was all about that V8 engine. He was like, you got to ride in my car. You are like, snap your head back. And I, like, rode in there, and it was like... <laughs> and so, like, every stop, I'd be like, oh, I just... It wasn't doing it right. I'll hit it, I'll hit it this time. And so, finally, I was just like, oh, wow, that was just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. It's my first one. And uh, come back for the second. This is Two Fingers. Video two. Um, thanks for watching. Love, love, love.